Hey there, welcome to the 53rd Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. This marks the 52nd straight week of JavaScript tutorials, so I want to take some time to thank you for sticking around, watching our tutorials, and for supporting easyprogramming.net. So let's continue where we left off in the last tutorial and format our days so things look pretty. I mentioned uh, in the last tutorial we ended with saying that if uh, either seconds, date, month, anything ends, uh, is just a single digit, it won't have a trailing zero, something that we're all used to when we're looking at dates, um, calendars, especially when you're looking at minutes uh, on, a, on a time like a, like a digital clock. So we want to format it so that it looks pretty. So since I'm recording this at a, at a weird time where everything will be double digits except for the seconds, you can actually set a date when you're declaring a date object. So if you look at the date references in the W3Schools link, it actually highlights uh, what how you can um, actually uh, declare the date. So I'm just going to copy and paste this as a placeholder. So we'll do year, we'll do 2018. Month will be 1, which will be February. Date will be 1, February 1st. Hours, 1 a.m. Minutes, 1. Seconds, 1. And milliseconds, I'll do one, even though we won't be using milliseconds. So now if I update and run, it'll say my current date now is February 1st to 2018, 010101. So when you when you get just the uh, uh, the object, D, uh, it actually formats it very neatly. But once you're accessing each of these elements one by one, you just get the single, uh, single uh, number, uh, which is not great, which is something that you don't really want. So let's format it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a function. I'm going to call it format date. And it's going to take one parameter. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to call it n. Um, keep it simple. And we're going to make this a return function. Um, so I'm going to keep make it a little bit simpler. So I'm going to declare a variable called f for formatted. Uh, and in there, I'll use a little ternary operator. I'll say if n is less than 10, Then we return a zero, uh, stringifying it, putting quotes around it so that it, it is a string, plus n, else return n. Uh, if you need to know how the ternary operator works, uh, I recommend checking out that video. It's a really quick video and it explains to you how uh, the formatting of this, uh, how it replaces the entire if statement. And then we'll return f once we're done. So what this does is it checks to see if the number we're seeing here is less than 10. If it's less than 10, it'll append a zero or prepend a zero in front of it and uh, return that else it'll return just that number so if it's 10 or higher so if it's 10 we don't want to do zero one zero uh, we want to just return 10 and it'll just return false uh, so now we want to invoke this function like let's say in uh, get date right so we'll do format date and put parentheses around this let's see how that works clearing this run there we go. Now it says February 1st, 01. So now what we want to do is we want to copy this. I'll copy this and put it under um, hours, minutes, and seconds. So one of my favorite things about JS Fiddle, you can do multi-edits at once. And then close the parentheses here. We'll do update. Get rid of that. Run. So now we have something that looks much neater. So it's February 1st, 2018 uh, at 1. 1 a.m. and uh, 0 1 seconds. It's pretty straightforward, right? So if I set the date uh, to, let's say, uh, not 1, uh, let me check again. So the date is going to be the third one, the day, uh, not the day, the hours. It's the fourth one. So we'll do, uh, let's say it's 12 instead of that. So we'll do update and run. So now it's just 1201 uh, instead of 010 uh, because if we didn't include this one, it would return 012, excuse me, not 010. I mean, we may see other tutorials on the internet uh, showing you how to use the slice method of a string uh, formula. Uh, of the string uh, the string object to do what I'm doing here uh, but there has been benchmark tests uh, on the internet you can search for them that shows that the ternary operator or uh, a select uh, or a, a compare statement is actually faster than slice uh, significantly I think it's like 30% or 40% faster which makes uh, quite a bit of a difference 
Uh, well, anyway, I hope that you find this little four lines of code useful. Uh, you can use this, uh, you can put this in a library somewhere, and then whenever you need to uh, validate a date or a time or something, you can send it to the format date function and have it return something, uh, have it return a formatted date. Uh, it's pretty neat. Um, I use this all the time in my websites. Uh, feel free to use it. Uh, Thanks for watching the 53rd Easy JavaScript tutorial. And thanks for sticking with us for the last 52 weeks, uh, full year. Remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more information. Uh, check out the new website, comment on the website. If you have any questions, you can comment on the website or you can ask in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great one.